Why Judge Judy's return to TV is bad news for her old bosses at CBS. Hey buddy, welcome to our YouTube channel. Hope you all are so well, so let's begin. Judge Judy Scheindlin, the sharp-tongued hand of daytime television justice, is marking a significant return to broadcast TV. Following the culmination of her legendary 25-year run on The Judge Judy Show, Scheindlin switched outlets and ventured into the streaming world with Juby Justice. The project first debuted on Amazon's freebie in November 2021. Now, in a groundbreaking move, she's bringing her latest project back to a broader audience, signing a multi-year deal to air Judy Justice across more than 100 U.S. broadcast markets this fall, while continuing to premiere new episodes on freebie and prime video. This homecoming is a major moment for the iconic overseer. While Judy Justice retains the classic arbitration-based format that fans have come to love, with Shine Lynn at the helm delivering her no-nonsense form of justice, the show brings fresh elements to the courtroom. Included in this new incarnation is a fresh cast with Shine Lynn's granddaughter Sarah Rose as a law clerk, court stenographer Whitney Kumar, and bailiff Kevin Rasco, ensuring that the essence of Shine Lynn's judicial approach remains as compelling as ever. The decision to expand Juby Justice back to broadcast television coincides with Amazon Prime Video's transition towards incorporating more ad-supported content with Freebie leading the charge as Amazon's initial step into AVOD, advertising-based video on demand. The decision to place these programs back on traditional broadcast television is seen as moved to where audiences have been clamoring to see her. Despite the end of her tenure on Judge Judy, Shinelin has remained clear about her passion for the courtroom and her dedication to her work. The end of that program was far from the end of her tenure in gavel-to-gavel decision-making. Her influence continues to resonate, with reruns of Judge Judy still drawing significant viewership, outperforming new episodes of other syndicated talk shows. Beyond Juby Justice, Scheinlin's production endeavors include Tribunal Justice for Freebie, further solidifying her role as a trailblazer in legal entertainment. As Juby Justice gears up for its third season on Amazon, with case submissions currently open, Viewers old and new can look forward to experiencing the unique blend of fairness, insight, and entertainment that Scheindlin brings to the screen. With a career spanning over two decades, Judge Judy Scheindlin continues to redefine courtroom television for audiences across America, proving that her brand of justice remains as relevant and captivating as ever. Judge Judith Scheindlin, renowned for her no-nonsense approach in the courtroom, has proven that her dedication extends far beyond wielding a gavel. At 81 years old, the daytime Emmy winner has embraced the importance of maintaining both physical and mental fitness as she continues to make her mark on the world. I have a responsibility to keep the vessel in shape and looking good, Judge Judy shared with The Post, highlighting her commitment to a rigorous twice-daily exercise routine. Despite her demanding schedule, Shanelin dedicates a total of 10 hours a week to staying active, refusing to let age hinder her capabilities. For Shanelin, fitness is not just about physical appearance. It's about maintaining mental sharpness and overall well-being. The Post report indicated that rather than relying on a personal trainer, she prefers to chart her own course, setting her own pace within the comfort of her home gym space alongside her husband of four decades, former New York Supreme Court Judge Jerry Scheinlin, who at 90, shares her commitment to fitness. Each morning, Scheinlin and her husband devote at least 60 to 90 minutes to getting their heart rates pumping, whether through brisk walks on the treadmill or engaging in resistance strength training, according to the information provided in the Post report. For Scheindlin, the benefits extend beyond physical health. Exercise serves as a cornerstone of mental well-being. If your mind is in shape and your body is not, the weaker one will eventually affect the other, Scheindlin remarked to the Post, underlining the symbiotic relationship between physical and mental fitness. She encourages individuals of all ages to prioritize exercise for the betterment of their overall health. Working out is important for my physical health and my mental health, Scheindlin affirmed, stressing the importance of holistic wellness, as was noted in the Post report. Her dedication serves as an inspiration to others, proving that age should never be a barrier to leading an active and fulfilling life. And to no surprise, the no-nonsense jurist, known for scolding baloney-filled crooks on courtroom shows for nearly 30 years is absolutely right, since exercise has been shown to have many health benefits. While exercise plays a crucial role in maintaining her quick-wittedness and good form, Scheindlin also acknowledges the importance of a good night's sleep in preserving her vitality. 
However, the Post report said that her rest is often interrupted by bursts of inspiration for new television projects, including the forthcoming Amazon freebie series, Justice on Trial. Spot underscore M. Justice on Trial is set to delve into seminal Supreme Court rulings that have shaped the American justice system, with the first case being Gideon v. Wainwright. The Post report explained that the landmark 1963 decision mandated the appointment of legal counsel to criminal defendants unable to afford an attorney, significantly impacting the landscape of criminal justice in the United States. One of the first cases we will be doing is Gideon v. Wainwright, Scheindlin disclosed hinting at the depth and significance of the docudrama series. The Post report pointed out that through reenactments, Scheindlin aims to illuminate the inciting events, trials, and appeals of each case in hour-long episodes, offering viewers a comprehensive understanding of the legal precedents that continue to shape society today. Justice on Trial has yet to receive an official debut date, the Post report noted, leaving audiences eager to witness Scheindlin's latest venture into the world of television. Scheinland is also set to captivate audiences once again, but this time in a different role, as Judge Beauty in Eel of Cosmetics' Super Bowl ad, according to the Post report. Despite her illustrious career on the bench, Scheinland admits that the makeup magistrate role has garnered her unprecedented respect and recognition. It's going to be a fabulous, entertaining, and informative show that subliminally teaches you something, Scheinland remarked, hinting at the unique blend of entertainment and education in the upcoming ad the report in the Post said. People want to be smarter, and they tell me they have learned a lot about the law, life, and social interactions by watching me over the years. I've never received more respect than in the last few months due to the success of that commercial, Scheindlin revealed, reflecting on the unexpected impact of her foray into the world of cosmetics advertising. It came as a pleasant surprise. Presiding over the courtroom as Judge Beauty, Scheindlin delivers her trademark wit with the iconic tagline, Beauty fades, dumb is forever, as noted in the post. The message is clear. While beauty may be fleeting, intelligence is timeless. I hope fans, namely tweens and teens consumed by the current anti-aging trend, take heed, Scheindlin expressed, emphasizing the importance of intellectual curiosity and engagement. The way to maintain an interesting and exciting adventure of life is to stay engaged and smart. Looks can only take you so far. Despite the allure of youth and beauty, Scheindlin warns against relying solely on superficial attributes for fulfillment, the Post reported. If you think you're going to rely on just looks, the adventure is going to be boring, she cautioned. If you have a 